Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. This is chapter 5, the final chapter on my class on understanding C++ better through an examination of lambdas that I started in between Christmas and New Year's of 2019. So be sure to go back and watch chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4 before coming back here. This has been a class consisting of an introduction to the chapter with a series of videos to watch and then some exercises to do before coming back. Uh, so in chapter 4, these are the videos that we watched and the exercise is what feature would you like to see added to lambdas? Now hopefully back on chapter 4's comments on YouTube, we've got lots and lots of comments from people who have ideas for things they would like to see added to lambdas in the future, such as in C++23. So there's not much more to say about that here. So we are going to look at chapter 5. Chapter 5 is lambdas to the limits. And this is kind of about abusing lambdas and some of the weird things that we can do with them. Um, so we've got just a few videos this time and then of course some exercise questions after this. So the first video to watch is episode 126, Lambdas with Destructors. And this is about creating a lambda that can do something when the lambda is destroyed. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know that lambdas have their own lifetime and their own storage, and the, we can reason about when they are created and what happens during their lifetime. Next is 162 recursive lambdas. This is about how to generate lambdas that call themselves or mutually recursive lambdas where you have lambdas that call another lambda that calls the first lambda that calls the second lambda, that kind of thing. Um, so this is really just really delving into really understanding what lambdas are and how they're implemented and how we can take advantage of that. Episode 89, Overusing Lambdas. This kind of goes back to the fold expression exercise from chapter three. So be sure for sure that you've watched that and understand what is going on in that code. And then finally, episode 177, Creating a Bind Front Using Only Lambdas. This is, a, in my opinion, an interesting episode and really taking advantage of the latest features of lambdas with C++. So then our exercises, after you've watched all those, and you can keep these in mind looking forward, is a series of questions. This is really to see if you've understood what we've talked about over the last few episodes. So this is list the C++ features that lambdas take advantage of. And then question two, what is the type of a lambda? Question three, do lambda objects follow normal lifetime rules? Now this is, um, also known as a closure type and the standard, if you go and look that up. Question number four, how do lambdas help us write efficient code? And then finally, question number five, how is it possible to overuse lambdas? And that rounds this uh, class out. If you can answer these questions and with examples is certainly a good start, then you will be able to have a pretty good understanding of what lambdas are and a fairly deep understanding of C++. And hopefully you can take this knowledge to apply to other aspects of your code. So again, thank you for watching chapter five of our special class, 
In the next episode, we're going to answer these questions and then get back to our normal programming. So thank you again for watching this and be sure to subscribe.